What I'd like to show you in this video is how to take advantage of subsessions. Uh, previously, I showed you how you can set up your session to save different combinations of your plugins and their properties using multiple racks, uh, which is a good technique in the light and the solo versions. Uh, but the performer version of Cantabile offers you additional flexibility with the inclusion of the subsession feature. Uh, so what I have here is a session loaded up in performer. And the first thing you'll notice is uh, some new icons here across the ribbon and some new panels to work with. Uh, but down here in the uh, the racks in the plugins panel, you'll see that I have things set up uh, kind of the way I did in, in my previous video, where I've got a couple different instrument plugins loaded up in this first rack here, and then I've got my EQs and reverbs and uh, dynamic type plugins loaded up uh, all in their own individual rack. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, the same thing I did before, and that is just kind of come up with a combination of uh, plugins to work with here and find that uh, particular sound that I want. Uh, but this time I'm going to save it as a subsession. So uh, here's the first sound that I want to save. And now rather than saving all of these plugins into a new rack and having to change the, the sends to get to that sound, I'll just come up to the subsession menu, choose uh, Save Subsession As, and then I'll just uh, give it a name. And now I've got that combination uh, all ready to go for me. And uh, if I want to access it again, of course, I can just come back to that same menu, and it's uh, listed here. Or I can uh, click on the icon above here, and that'll bring up the subsession uh, panel. And uh, all of the subsessions that are, are within this particular session will be listed here. So what I'm going to do is come to a new uh, session here where I've got some more uh, subsessions already loaded up. And the first one I've named just All Off. It's kind of a place for me to start with all of my plugins suspended. Uh, then I've got this Mellow Trem, which is the one that I just made. And I also created some additional uh, electric piano sounds. This uh, bright old speaker kind of sounds like this. And then I just uh, threw one more in there just to have a different sound. I just called it Log Drum. Uh, so you can see with uh, the, the plugins that I have loaded up in this session, I've got three different electric piano sounds, and I can uh, access them uh, by just double-clicking on the title, and you'll see the little blue arrow always points to the one that's loaded up. Uh, but if I'm in a, a situation where I, I don't want to reach for the mouse or try to find the trackpad, um, I want to set up a, an easier way to, to access uh, these uh, subsessions or at least move through them. So I'll come over to the, uh, the setup menu and set up some MIDI assignments so I can uh, do this from my keyboard. So the first thing I've done is uh, I've got things set up so that uh, I can move to the next uh, subsession by just pressing on uh, it's the very highest note on my, my keyboard. I've got an 88 a note keyboard and because this is an electric piano sound I don't need it uh, uh, for any uh, musical notes so I've got uh, the highest key set up to uh, move to the next subsession so what I'm going to do is set up the very lowest key on my keyboard to move uh, to the previous subsession uh, so down here on the bottom you'll see it's uh, waiting for the source controller it just means uh, that Cantabile is waiting for uh, me to press one of my uh, my MIDI uh, keys somewhere some sort of controller it, um, the learn mode is um, automatically selected so once I do press that note on the bottom of my uh, my keyboard you'll see that note uh, A0 on my particular MIDI channel uh, is shown up. Uh, Cantabile recognized that I pressed that note so now I can uh, come to the assign to list and uh, find uh, subsession load previous. Now you'll see uh, that uh, Cantabile does offer you the ability to assign just about every parameter uh, with the plugins that are loaded uh, and assign it to some sort of uh, MIDI controller. So it gives you a lot of flexibility there. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is down here uh, where it says context, I'm going to change the context to just a uh, session. Um, what I want to do is just make sure that uh, these MIDI controllers will only be active in this session because if I load up a different session where I've got an, an acoustic piano sound, I might actually want to use those keys to, to play a note. So I don't want to be triggering new subsessions uh, while I'm trying to actually play a note. So uh, in this particular session, it works fine uh, because uh, I won't be using those, uh, those particular keys. So that's why I'm going to set uh, the context to just this session, and I'll click Assign, and now I've got these two uh, MIDI controllers ready to go. So now when I come back and I actually uh, press that very uh, highest key on my keyboard, you can see that it's just going to move me through all the various subsessions, and then when I press the very uh, lowest key, on my keyboard. It just moves me backwards through. Um, so that's uh, the easiest way to, to set up your uh, subsessions that you can uh, access them pretty quickly. Um, so the only other thing that I'll mention uh, with regards to subsession is the fact that uh, you can control certain uh, 
uh, behaviors uh, uh, with uh, your subsessions. Uh, you can select with which attributes will be controlled by the subsessions uh, just by checking off uh, these boxes. Whatever attributes you want to have controlled by this particular uh, subsession, you can check off here. And you can do the same thing if you right click on the uh, on the actual plugin, you can also control some of the uh, the attributes for that particular plugin uh, by uh, selecting them here. So uh, that's just a, a feature that you can uh, work with uh, on your own. But uh, if we wanted to actually um, come up with a completely different set of plugins, um, that's not going to work with this subsession feature. Remember, uh, in a subsession, you're only able to uh, control the properties for the plugins that are are loaded in this particular session. So if I'm ready to move to a like I uh, said earlier, if I have an acoustic piano uh, sound for my next song and I want to move to that to combination of plugins, uh, the way I'll need to do that is uh, through the use of uh, the set lists. And uh, we'll uh, go over that in, in my next video, but uh, hopefully uh, this will give you a good understanding to uh, the use of subsessions in a cantabile performer.